Well, church, if you have been joining us online over the past couple of weeks, you will have heard the exciting news and developments of our Riverwood House project. We continue to be so encouraged by God's faithfulness as we see such significant progress now materializing after years of work. Riverwood House is our recovery housing project that found its beginnings at a meeting in the afternoon on April 18th back in 2018. Winnipeg Supportive Housing, a nonprofit with a vision to develop a supportive housing project, knocked on our door as they were interested in purchasing the lot next to the fire hall, and they wondered if we would be good neighbors to their project. Well, over the next few days, this conversation quickly shifted from being neighbors to a shared sense of synergy and led to the formation of a partnership that birthed the vision of Riverwood House together. Well, there's no question that addictions has emerged as a significant issue for our city. We have watched it firsthand, the impact it has had in our neighborhood through the, our support programming over the last 20 years. And just under three years ago, this led us to partner with Finding Freedom to help respond to this very need. And over these last eight months, we have seen the need grow more than ever as relapse rates have skyrocketed in the absence of connection and supports. It has never been more clear how critical having a supportive community is to recovery. And it continues to be unmistakably clear that without stable and safe housing, recovery does not stand a chance. Riverwood House is built on these foundations, a safe and stable housing, a context of community and peer support and providing access to the supportive services necessary to help people become successful in their recovery over the long term. These past few weeks have been monumental in the development of this project. We have received our building permit. We have signed our contract with Westland Construction to officially begin building Riverwood House. And this past Monday, we gathered on the site to mark the moment as ground was officially broken for Riverwood House to become a reality. I'll always remember the laughter that we shared as we all had our hard hats and our official shovels in hand and we counted down to our big moment of breaking ground only to discover that the ground was too frozen for our shovels as they skipped over the surface. But thankfully, there were a few big machines that had much less issue getting into the earth and helped us along as the foundations for this project officially began. Church, ground has been broken. As a church, this has indeed been a large step of faith. Riverwood House is a $7.3 million project. Over this past year, we have seen remarkable generosity and provision. To date, we have seen more than $2.5 million raised through the donations and contributions from 101 different donors and foundations. How incredible is that? In this past June, on June 10th, we celebrated as the province announced that they were contributing $1 million to this project. This was remarkable and we are so grateful. This means to date we have raised more than $3.5 million and we've also secured financing for the project. These are such significant numbers. This brought us to the decision to move ahead and begin construction before winter as some of these funds were contingent on a 2020 start. It also places us in the present position of still needing to raise an additional $2 million to close the gap between our financing and our present funding. We have stepped out in faith and trust that God will meet us in this need. We are actively working towards a federal contribution and we have a major request into a foundation that we're waiting news on. We hope to share some more good news with you soon. And we continue to see incredible generosity as we engage in our capital campaign. We are humbled and grateful to celebrate this exciting news and to see Riverwood House now taking shape. We celebrate the remarkable generosity of those who have invested into this project and the hard work that has been done by Winnipeg Supportive Housing. They are remarkable partners with us in this project as they help us develop and push it to completion. And we remain encouraged by the enthusiasm and support of our church to be such a part of an important project and to respond to the need in our city. 
Although we are not together in person today, I remember that at our last annual meeting as we sat around tables with you, our covenant community dreaming about this day when we'd be celebrating together this project moving ahead. Well, here we are. And I'm proud to be a part of a church that's not simply about sentiment or words, but that is about taking gutsy and faith-filled real action. Together as a church, we continue to pursue the call to follow Jesus and serve those who are living in the most vulnerable places of our community and our city and to provide a safe place to call home a place of community and connection, and to see people discover their value and their potential to be who they were created to be. Church Riverwood House is moving ahead. The foundations have been built. Hope is coming home.